And while the Cubs are on the road, Wrigleyville feels a little more empty. Yeah, today the field is set up for a very different game. You still need to have a good swing, but you don't have to be a pro. NBC5's Jen DeSalvo tried it out today. For a lot of people, it'll be a once-in-a-lifetime type experience, and it's it's more than just the just the round of golf. Because who would think that a pitching mound would meet a pitching wedge? But that is exactly what Upper Deck Golf is bringing to Wrigley Field. You come and you play a nine-hole round of golf in uh, the most iconic ballpark in, in the Major League Baseball. Each player gets a minimum of two balls per hole, and play your best ball. If you hit the ball on the green, it's a par. In the 24-foot round circle, a birdie, but anywhere else, it's a bogey. Each hole in different spots on both decks. All the shots are short iron shots. Most people are going to be playing anywhere from, you know, a pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron. Eight irons are the longest clubs that we allow in the stadium, so we don't have that scenario where people are trying to hit home runs. So if you have the urge to drive the ball onto Waveland? If you grab the driver, I might have to escort you out of here. We really don't want that, so I'll stick with the sand wedge. Upper Deck Golf runs through Sunday. At Wrigley Field, I'm Jen DeSalvo, NBC5 News. It's a creative use yeah. of the field when they're not there. Something to do if you want to be around the park. There and you go. And you can't catch a game. There you go. People will be checking that out for sure. I'm sure.